Hey, welcome to another episode in this series on energy. I'm Mr. Salagaris. In this episode, we're going to explore the notion of potential energy and forms of energy which fit into this category. Okay, so remember the potential energy essentially is energy which is stored. Here is an example of this. Think of an elastic band that's been pulled back. It has energy stored in the elastic band that will be released if it was to let go. So this is called elastic potential energy. Okay, here's another example or a different type of potential energy. So think back to Looney Tunes show with Wile E. Coyote and Roadrunner, how Wiley's always trying to find ways to get Roadrunner. Uh, imagine Wiley's positioned a huge boulder at the top of a cliff, ready to drop it off onto Roadrunner as he goes past. Um, usually what happens in the show is that uh, Wiley's the one that usually gets uh, the raw end of the stick. Um, okay, I'm digressing a little bit. The boulder sitting at the top of the cliff has the potential for large amounts of energy if it was to be dropped off. Um, this energy is called gravitational potential energy and refers to the force of energy caused by gravity when an object is dropped. Okay, so something to point out about potential energy is that as soon as the energy is being used by the object that was once storing the potential energy, it is then considered as kinetic energy. For example, an elastic band has potential energy when it's pulled back tight, and it has kinetic energy when it is let go and the band is in motion. Same goes with the boulder on the cliff example. Uh, when it is dropped over onto Roadrunner, it then has kinetic energy, not potential energy. Another form of potential energy is chemical energy. It's considered as potential energy because energy can be released from its use. So for example, uh, petrol in a car tank has potential energy because when it combusts in the engine, uh, it will cause work to be done. Chemical energy can come in the form of liquids and other substances, but can also refer to chemical processes which occur in plants or animals. Uh, this is referred to as biomass energy or biomass chemical energy. So these chemical processes can include things like photosynthesis, which is used for growth in plants. So the last type of potential energy I want to talk about is nuclear energy. This is a powerful and dangerous form which can be used in explosive weapons or in medical technologies. So it has potential energy because when it is used, energy is released. Um, okay, so let's sum it up. What have we learned so far? Another name for potential energy is stored energy. Types of potential energy include elastic, gravitational, chemical, including biomass, and nuclear energy. Potential energy of an object only exists when it is not in motion, so not in motion. As soon as it is used, it's classified then as kinetic energy. Okay, that's a wrap. Stay tuned. Uh, next episode we're going to talk about classifying energy.